There has been plenty more medals for Team GB today, including Britain's youngest ever Olympic medalist. There were two golds, a silver and two bronzes, which has taken Britain above Australia, as you can see behind me there, on the medal table. But bad news, I'm afraid, for Katarina Johnson-Thompson. Garrett Hughes has got all the details. Yet yeah, more gold for Team GB. This time, uh, the equestrian team delivering uh, once again. Ben Mayer in the individual jumping, a sensational performance. It goes to a jump off the top six riders, and he was the penultimate rider to go. Uh, it was close. My word, it was close. The final rider was uh, Michael van der Vluten of the uh, Netherlands. Uh, he couldn't quite get over Ben Mayer's time. Peter Fredriksen of Sweden took the silver. Van der Vluten took the bronze. But Ben Mayer hung on by a whisker uh, to take gold again uh, for Great Britain and Northern Ireland here at these games. So individual jumping gold for Team GB. Uh, it equals for the team in a whole, the equestrian team as a whole, uh, their medal hall of London 2012 fantastic performance it also has the consequence tonight here in tokyo of pushing team gb further up the overall medal table that's the 15th gold that team gb have won here so they're now level with 15 with australia but overall the medal tally is greatly superior 48 medals in total so team gb now firmly in fourth place in the medal tables ahead of the Australians. There's a bit of friendly rivalry between the two heads of the teams, uh, Ian Chesterman and Mark England of Team GB. And at the moment, it's Team GB who are ahead and uh, by some distance at the moment. But great performance from Ben Mayer to bring in that gold medal. Um, it just shows, unfortunately, the Olympics, you get the highs and lows, the joy and despair. Joy for Ben Mayer, but despair for Katerina Johnson-Thompson, who is out of the heptathlon in the final event of day one there are four events on day one it was the 200 meters we can now confirm it was not an achilles injury which she picked up in january everyone seemed to think that maybe it was a reoccurrence of that injury but it was not it was a different leg it was her right leg and it's a calf muscle injury uh, she pulled up halfway through that 200 meters she was leading during the race but um, it's gone, and that is what has forced her to go out uh, of, the, of the heptathlon here with the Olympics, not her Achilles injury, which she was managing. She did tell us at the preparation camp before these Olympics that the Achilles injury, she was managing it well, uh, but it was a calf injury that has uh, actually put her out of these Olympic Games and this heptathlon. She was well-placed. She was keeping uh, on the coattails of the Olympic champions, Nafi TM, uh, but it's a real huge shame for KJT and uh, another of uh, Team GB's great female hopes in track and field is not going to live up to their, their renowned ability here and perform at their finest. Dina Asher-Smith, of course, in the individual 100 and 200 metres, having to withdraw from that. And now KJT having to withdraw from the heptathlon uh, because of injury to her right calf muscle. Uh, she is an astonishing talent. Uh, she will doubtless be very, very upset. She hasn't uh, spoken to many people uh, since the heptathlon of the 200 metres has finished but she is an absolute world-class performer. She is the world champion. She'll go again in those world championships in Oregon next year, and hopefully the KJT will get another go at the Olympics in Paris in 2024. Thank you, Gary. Well, Hannah Mills and uh, Ina McIntyre won sailing gold in the women's uh, 470 class. It was an emotional moment for McIntyre, who emulated her father, Mike, who himself won a sailing gold at the 1988 Olympics. As for Mills, she's become Britain's most successful female Olympic sailor, adding this gold to her gold from Rio and her silver in London. Mills already has an MBE, so could that now be upgraded? All those extra bits and bobs that are just the most incredible things to be a part of after the Olympics, whatever, whatever they are, um, that's not why we do it. It's, it's just an incredible bonus. And uh, yeah, I, I haven't even thought about any of it, to be honest. I, I've always said this growing up with gold medal in the house, that I felt a lot of pressure as a kid uh, to perform and to live up to my dad's expectations. And I think, you know, that's led me to this moment and it's led me to be able to deal with sailing with hats. Elsewhere, there was a silver for boxer Ben Whitaker, who was in tears on the podium after losing a split decision while super heavyweight Fraser Clark took the bronze. Well, Sky Brown has become Britain's youngest Olympic medal winner of all time at just 13 years and 28 days old. And she and 15-year-old Bombette Martin were representing Team GB. The message to them ahead of the Games was just go out there and have fun. I'm so happy. It's insane to be here. I'm so happy to be on the podium with these guys. Um, they are so amazing. I mean, everyone ripped. I'm... 
I'm honestly just happy to be in Tokyo, but getting on the podium is insane. Well, it's amazing that she's, she's brought back, back a, a bronze medal and um, it'll help us with profile, with increasing participation, hopefully investment from the National Lottery and also giving credibility to skateboarding as well and, and showing people that it's actually a fantastic thing to take part in. What we said to Sky and Bombay is we know you're skating best when you're having fun. So actually we're not going to wrap around loads and loads of things you have to do and, and certain times you have to skate every day. So go and have fun, smile and skate the best and that's what they've done. Other countries are probably a little bit different to that and so they might be a little bit more structured and, and having to skate more and um, but that's not we didn't have the resource or, or to be fair the will we didn't want to do that because we know that part of skateboarding is fun. Well Sky Brown has really caught the imagination in sport and beyond double gold medalist Adam Peaty tweeted when I was 13 I was in my room all day playing runescape with a bit of swimming this is a crazy achievement well done Sky. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer also wrote, just superb from Sky Brown, she becomes the youngest ever member of Team GB to medal at a Summer Olympics. Inspirational stuff. Celebrity chef Jamie Oliver had a go as well. He said, amazing, well done Sky Brown. And even the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have passed on their regards. They tweeted, congratulations to Sky Brown, Team GB's youngest ever medalist.